Okay, plate two, line that. First thing we're gonna do, mark our border. Three quarters top and three quarters bottom. And I'm gonna mark one one and three quarters above and, and two and three quarters above. Then I'm gonna come over to the side here. I'm gonna make my side measurements, which are half an inch, here and here. Take my triangle. Take my triangle, come in here, and the way that I like to do this is I start with the side lines. I do the sides, and this eliminates a step when you're drawing these plates, because now I don't have to redraw these. i am found the intersections already, so I can go ahead and draw my border lines across. Now on plate two, plate two is a lot different from every other plate, in that plate two, on plate two there is two title blocks, because we're gonna label what the different kinds of lines are on here. Okay, once I do that, you saw I was able to skip the step with the construction lines this way by doing the side. And then I'll put this tight, draw this up so that this is sharp, here and here. Now, for the title block down here, we are going to use the same title block, three, six, and nine, three, six, and nine. The top is gonna be two, four, six, and eight. They're a little different. Come in, draw my divisions with my horizontal lines. When I do the one, when I'm drawing this line for six, a lot of times you're gonna notice it doesn't seem to line up right, but just use one pass. These, both of these six lines should line up in the same spot. Okay, then you got your title block here. Now, down here, you're going to do the divisions with one eighth, five sixteenths, one eighth, five sixteenths. And then you're gonna do the same thing in the bottom title block here. And then these need to be construction lines. Weight of the pencil, just come across. I just want to see where the letters are. Ooh, missed on that one. There. Then down here is where you can put your lettering. The top part up here, we have this section up here. I'm going to divide this every half an inch. A couple ways you can do this. You can use the 16 scale and just do it by half an inch like you normally would, or you can use the half inch scale, which is right here. If I put this half inch scale here, like this, I can just put a mark at every one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, I'm gonna draw construction lines at each one of these, and I wanna remind you that if these construction lines are dark, it's really gonna cause a big problem. These really have to be light because we're gonna draw other lines on top of them. And I just come down here like this, and I'm gonna have nine lines. Even though I'm gonna draw 10 lines, why do I only need nine of these to draw them on? Which two go together? Extension and dimension lines. Okay, I have these lines here. Now, my first line is gonna be a construction line. In this first block, I'm gonna put construction. And I'm lettering this kind of quick because I don't want the video to last forever. Okay, the first line is a construction line. I don't need to draw it. It's already there. Don't write up here. You don't need to write on this part. The next line is going to be a border line. So I'm going to go to my second. I'm going to make it a border line. I'm come down here and put border. Remember, when you're drawing border, it's like a geographical border, not like a snow border. Third line is going to be my object line. For my object line, I'm going to use my mechanical pencil because this is just a thin, fine line that comes across. Then that's going to be an object line. So my third one will be object. Um, when you're using these mechanical pencils and the lead breaks off, it's a good idea to make sure you get it out of the way because if it gets underneath the T-square, gets on your paper, it's going to leave marks. Okay. My fourth line is going to be a hidden line. And hidden lines are just a series of short dashes. Using your T-square, just come across here and draw a series of short dashes. There's no need to measure them. This represents a hidden line to somebody that's... So the third one, the fourth line here is going to be a hidden line. My fifth line down is going to be a center line. 
Center line represents the center of an object, and you're going to have about two dashes over the length of this. All it is is a long line with a short break with one dash in the middle. Um, keep in mind, when I said that if these construction lines are too dark, it's going to cause a problem. If you have a dark construction line underneath here, right here, you're not going to see these gaps and people are not going to know it's a center line. I'll come in here, label my letters. My next line is going to be a cutting line, cutting plane line, which looks like a center line, the only difference being there are two dashes, and that indicates where a cut's going to be made. And that'll be a cutting line. You can call it a cutting plane line, cut line, cutting line, doesn't matter. People looking at it know that means to be cut. Now, the next two, these next, this next one is the most difficult one on this whole project, and that's because we're going to put the extension and the dimension lines on this line here. Here's the way I recommend you do it. Take your scale. This is the line I want, this line right here. I'm going to put my scale here, and I'm going to put a mark a quarter inch above and a quarter inch below. So then I will come back here. And I'm going to draw a construct extra set of two extra construction lines here. The reason being, that's going to show me where I'm going to put. Make sure I'm lined up on the right line. I'm getting the right the right one here, right here. And I'm going to put my extension line here. I'm going to come over here, put another extension line, so that these extension lines go exactly between the two extra lines I drew. This is the center of the line. This is a line. Right here, that's a line we drew for the extra and that. Now to draw the dimension line, dimension line is pretty simple. You're going to touch the extension line, leave an opening in the middle for the measurement. Now to come back here to draw your arrows, I want you to make the arrows, they should be about three times as long and the way I do it is by making a small mark like this and then, I just have a little trouble with mechanical pencils, come here. That's all the arrows should be. You don't want big arrows, just little tiny arrows like that. Uh, some people draw them a little bit differently with just a, you'll see different variations. Here's the important part. The reason we use extension and dimension lines is so that we can put this, measure this exactly in the middle. And I'm looking at this and I see that this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five eighths, seven and five eighths. So in my measurement here, I'm gonna write seven hate mechanical pencils. Seven and five-eighths inches. Okay, the next two lines, short break and long break. Uh, I was watching people doing this last bell and I saw a lot of people were trying to draw up by freehand and getting all complicated on it. It's really not that ish, big an issue. Come across here, leave a few openings like this, and then you're just gonna make this connection. The final line here, and just like this, these like this and the short break. Long break line is going to be right here. The long break line, believe it or not, because you've been using the instruments and you get used to using them, this line gives people more trouble than any other line. And that is, basically you're just going to take your pencil and wiggle it down by hand like this. Okay, then you're going to come in, we've got the cutting plane line, I've got my extension line, I'll label this out. Dimension. Down here, you're going to put the school, Virginia Beach, um, lettering exercise, tech ed, your name, February 2012. Up here, this is going to be P2 because this is our second plate. And then down here, you're going to put your bell number and then your notebook number. And then when this is all done, when you get this perfect, now we'll be able to draw that. And so that's plate two. Any questions? Thank you. Thank